Hey, what's up guys? Spencer Rhodes here. So The Walking Dead Season 10 Comic Con was today. There was a bunch of news, there, there were a bunch of announcements. There was The Walking Dead Season 10 trailer that was released. There was the trailer for the back half of Fear the Walking Dead Season 5 that was released, which is kind of odd because the back half is Episode 9 to 16, and Episode 8 hasn't even aired yet, but they went ahead and, and showed the, the trailer for the back half, which basically pretty much confirms who survives Episode 8, but, oh well, they I guess, you know, it's the Comic-Con, so they wanted to do a bunch of big things, but yeah, and also, the, Denai Guerrera, the actress that, and I, I probably butcher her last name, but the actress that plays Michonne, she announced during the Comic-Con that it is, in fact, going to be her last season on The Walking Dead. Now, this is not necessarily uh, news, it's sort of been confirmed that Michonne is leaving in season 10 of The Walking Dead, however, most fans, including myself, assumed that basically what would happen is a few episodes into season 10, Michonne finds out that Rick is alive, she goes off to go find him, and then she goes to the movie trilogy, and then she's in the movie trilogy, and then a few years later, maybe Rick and Michonne come back, they reunite with Judith, whatever, but that's like season 15, season 16, whatever. So meanwhile, the actress gets to pursue other projects, but it, her character continues on in the movies. She reunites with Rick, and then their their characters get a, a proper conclusion. However, the thing that is new, that's possibly new, is that she might be leaving, leaving. Like, Denai might be done with the franchise. She might be done with Michonne. She, which means that after season 10, after the handful of episodes in season 10 that she is going to be in, she is completely done, which would mean that she is not going to be in the movie trilogy. She is not going to reunite with Rick. They would probably need to kill her off because they can't just have her disappear in a thin air and never, ever, ever, ever be seen again. If the actress is completely done after season 10, if she's not going to be in the movies, if she's not willing to have one more scene with Rick Grimes, then the only option that they really have is to kill her off. Now, this hasn't been completely 100% confirmed, but it's starting to look like the actress might be completely done after season 10, meaning she's not even going to do the Rick Grimes movie trilogy. But anyway, Denai Guerrera, she, she gives this speech during the Comic-Con. I have the, the link to what she says during the Comic-Con, in the description of this video, where the it's it's an article that basically explains uh, um, what she says, and she gives a speech to the fans about how she she appreciates the fans so much, and and basically she's saying that I'm not I'm not following my heart. If I was following my heart, I would stay on the Walking Dead franchise, but I, I'm wanting to pursue other things. And, uh, you know, I really appreciate you guys, and, and we're, the Walking Dead family is forever. She's basically saying a bunch of nice stuff, but she's pretty much saying that she's leaving because she wants to do other stuff. And I have to be honest, I I'm really kind of ticked off with her. Like, I'm really ticked off with Denai Guerrera. Like, okay, so basically, she's done the show for eight years, and she has, she's she cares about her fans. Oh, she loves her fans so much. But she's basically giving them the middle finger and and, ab and jumping ship, abandoning the fans. Her character is not done. Her character story is not properly done. They're not wanting to kill her off in season ten. They're they're probably wanting to keep Michonne around for I'd say another five six seasons, maybe even eight or ten seasons. So Michonne is not really supposed to be done. Her her story. Her character is really not supposed to be done, but the actress is giving the fans that love her the middle finger. She's abandoning her fans. She doesn't care about what the fans want. She wants to go do other things. She wants to go do other projects. And it's like, oh, poor you. Oh, poor you. Woe is you. You get to get up and, to, and go to work and, and dress up as this badass samurai with a katana that kills zombies every day. You pr and she probably makes like a million dollars an episode. Oh, poor her. She wants to leave. She can't stand doing more than eight 
years she has to leave. There are people that have to work their asses off for 60, 50, 60, 70 years of their life at warehouses, at normal jobs. They don't love their jobs. They don't get to dress up as a badass character and kill zombies. They don't get to make a million dollars a week. And they sure as hell don't get to abandon it after eight years. But poor her. She has to go leave after eight years because it's too difficult. She has to go do other projects. She doesn't want to wait anymore. Woe is her. And here's the thing. Here's the thing. I can understand it if she if she just got this this part you know just off the fly just it was just going to be you know like a character that would be on a show for maybe a couple of seasons and then the show would get canceled or she'd get killed off that's usually what happens when when you're an actor and you join a TV show i mean most most TV shows are are not success stories most TV shows get canceled usually actors when it comes to TV shows you're lucky if you get two guest appearances or you know maybe a whole season and then the show gets canceled or something like that if it was like that if she if that was what she was doing and then it accidentally became a huge franchise and then suddenly out of nowhere she was making a million dollars an episode and and they were wanting her for 20 years and then she was like oh no I want to go do other things I didn't I didn't expect the, the, the show to, to blow up like this. I didn't expect this to become such a huge franchise. I thought I was just going to be doing this as a fling and then it would get canceled and then I'd leave and go do other things. I didn't mean to do this for 20 years. I need to go do other things. If that was the case, I could understand that. But let's look at the facts, okay? Let's look at the facts. Fact number one. She joined the show in 2012, during the third season of the show. At this point, The Walking Dead had become really, really popular. I mean, it, you could argue that maybe it was even close to its prime during the third season, like season three to season six, maybe the beginning of season seven. That's like the show's prime when there were billions of, of viewers and billions of watchers. By the time The Walking Dead had gotten to season three, it was pretty much the biggest, most talked about show um, on any network at that point. That, that was pretty much the point where The Walking Dead became the biggest show that everyone was talking about. So she knew that it was a big show when she joined in 2012 in season three. She knew what she was signing up for. A big, long franchise that was pretty much the biggest show um, ever that everyone was talking about that would pr that was pretty much supposed to be something that would be a zombie story that never ended that would probably be 20 seasons or something she wasn't stupid she knew that she knew what she had signed up for fact number two her character Michonne in the comics as a huge character one of the biggest characters in the comics that lived a long time by the time they had gotten to, to uh, 2012 that was around the time when Negan kills Glenn in issue 100 so back in 2012 when Denai Guerrera had joined The Walking Dead that was when her character Michonne in the comics, I think she joined the comics, her character joined the comics in like issue 20, and they were already on issue 100. Michonne is still alive, she's one of the like two, three biggest characters in the comics, one of the most popular characters in the comics, one of the longest living characters in the comics. By the time she already joined, she knew that she was playing a huge comic character that was probably going to have a huge lifespan in the show show with the character that she was playing she knew what she signed up for so she's not she she didn't get caught off guard she didn't get caught by surprise she knew what she signed up for and then and right in the middle of it right in the middle of of Michonne's story she's giving the fans the middle finger and abandoning it in the middle the that that leaves me to believe one thing she used The Walking Dead for her fame, for herself, to get money, and when she was famous enough, when she had enough money, she abandoned it to go do other things. 
she she knew what she had signed up for, but she didn't want to do it all the way. She didn't want to commit to it all the way. She just wanted to use The Walking Dead for money, for fame. And then eight years later, she's abandoning it so she can go do other stuff. Like, what was, I mean, she knew what she had, she had signed up for. So she, she's not a victim. You know, she wasn't surprised by the fame of, of the franchise. She knew it. And she's still abandoning the fans in season 10. So, uh, there, no, no, I do not respect that. I do not respect anyone that joins a huge franchise knowing damn well that, that they're probably going to be expected to play a character for 20 years. Knowing damn well that there are so many other actresses, so many other actresses out there that would give their left arm for the opportunity that she had to play as a, a badass character in a zombie show for 20 years. But she took the role so that she could use it for eight years and then leave. I don't respect that. I don't respect that one bit. It's a little different for Andrew Lincoln because... You know, he he had his family, he had his kids, you know, that was the reason that he left. He he didn't leave to pursue other projects. He he left for his family and his kids because his kids were growing up and he wanted to spend time with them. So no, I I think it was Denai Garura, it's a little different and I, I have I have less respect for her and yeah, I'm just ticked off. She knew what she was doing. She used The Walking Dead for herself, for her fame, and then she ran off. She she abandoned her fans. So it's like when she's giving this speech about how how uh, she she's she appreciates the fans so much and and they'll always be a family. It's like that's I don't who cares? You you're you're abandoning them, you're giving them the middle finger. You don't care about the fans of the character. You're screwing them over. You're you're jumping shift when the character is halfway finished. Th that's what you're doing. And don't say that you're a victim or that you're surprised. You knew what you signed up for. So no, that you can't use that excuse. And when she says that she's that she she's not following her heart, she's following something else. If she was following her heart, she'd stay on The Walking Dead, but she's not following her heart. Now, that part, I do believe. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I mean, she could still be in the, in the Rick Grimes movie trilogy, but it's starting to look like she might not even be doing that. They could be just killing her off in season 10. Rick might never see her again. So all you Michonne fans, all you fans of that character, let me know what you think of that. What do you think of the possibility that Rick and Michonne might never see each other again? That Michonne might be dying in season 10, and by the time that Rick returns or, or whatever, you know, he, come, he comes back from the movies, he, he sees Judith again, Michonne's going to be dead and he'll never have that scene where he reunites with her what do you guys think of that what, what i mean are, are you proud of the actress for making this decision i mean you guys you guys let me know because i'm disappointed in her i've lost respect for her i don't respect this i don't respect this for the reasons that i have already explained i don't respect this there are so many other women that would have stayed that would have loved it that they would have appreciated the money getting to to get up every day for work and dress up and kill zombies for 20 years they would have loved it but no she's too good for that she has to to ab abandon the fans i don't respect that i'm sorry i do not respect that i do not respect denai guerrera Anyway, I'll probably get hatred for this, but I'm just being honest. I'm an honest guy. I'm just being honest, just deeply, truly honest about this. I'm disappointed in her and disappointed in this decision that she's making. You guys can hate me if you want. I'm not changing my mind. <laughs> anyway, that's all I have for this video. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Don't be shy. Hit that like and subscribe. I'm not going anywhere. I make one to two Walking Dead videos per day, so please hit that subscribe button. Right now we are at 566 subscribers. My goal is to try to get to 600 in the next few months. So just remember, every subscriber counts, every bit of support matters, and is very, very appreciated. Hopefully we can get to that goal of 600. Anyway, with all that said, I am Spencer Rhodes, and I will see you guys later. Bye!